Good afternoon, guys. Welcome back to another video on the channel. Bit of a different one. I have got what I would like to say is probably the lightest form of shelter you could possibly get. It's a two pound bag off Temu. That's why I'm in tonight. I'm doubling it up with my bivy bag that's also in the bag. But this thing is literally like a foil blanket but with camo on the outside. It's no different. And we got rain tonight. So <laughs> this comes with absolutely nothing, even though in the pictures it comes, you know, showing it being all pinned out with strings and stuff. I bought some string to go with it because but just that on its own might be a bit screwed but it's gonna be interesting to see if I can do anything with this at all <laughs> oh, so I'm gonna go by here got a nice little banking area Um I haven't decided what I'm gonna do with it yet I might try and do just a triangular a-frame or some sort of lean-to it's got no tie-out points on it so we'll see what we'll see what I can do we'll see what I can do you might have noticed again this is another camp in the summertime despite me saying I'm doing that last final video la -di -da. Uh, yeah it's uh, two weeks three weeks after that video now I'm out on a third camp <laughs> and, uh, and uh, baby's still not here but when you're watching it will be so Let's try and put this bag up. At least it's not winter time. Done. I'm thinking the sun sets over there. I might just do some sort of lean to. I don't think it's big enough for a plant. I'm, I haven't actually checked the size. Hang on. Hang on. <laughs> Okay, this is sealed, it's a bivy bag, well, I didn't realise it was a bivy bag, I thought, genuinely thought it was a tarp shelter. I'll be noisy. I'm not using this as a bivy bag, I'm gonna split it open. I'll sweat my ass off in that. See if I can split it open. Bear in mind this is the only chance I've got, so if I break it. Right, now we're talking. Sort of. <laughs> Get me string. so fragile. It's fragile, it just tears off, so I gotta be really careful. 
came prick. But I think she will work. I'm gonna see if I can get a stick stabbed in the ground there and a stick over there just to lift up the um, just to give me a bit more room inside. I mean it is a small plow point, but that's okay. I can make that work. I can definitely make that work somehow. <laughs> the idea is if this is going to be strong enough, I'll make that shorter actually. Stab a stick in the ground. Lift it up. Do another one on that side. Just give me a bit more room inside. It also makes it look a bit cooler, doesn't it? Right, another stick. That I'm quite happy with. You know what? I got a fair bit of room in there. Alright, my head's probably going to be sticking out tonight, but I don't really care. But I'm happy with that. Let's go in there and get the rest, the remaining bits of debris out. Because there is a bit in here that they don't want. If I don't put my head through this roof tonight, I'll be amazed. It's going to be quite noisy, I think. Especially when the rain comes down. It's boiling under here. Right, no beers today, just a bottle of wine. Might go and have a swig. Hmm. Just Get had what I think is a good idea. These little uh, hazel branches grow in here. Bend it down under, it's holding that up nice and tight. Give me a bit of an archway entrance. Uh, I'm going to do the same with this one here on that side. And it's really opening it up. I've got to be careful because I don't want to break the branch or the tent. really helping with the flapping of the wind. Really happy with that. So she's not actually that bad looking. Interesting angles. Well, how much room I got in there now? Really opened up with them branches doing that. That's phenomenal. I guess you guys will have a better idea when I get my bedding in there. Let's do that. Head is definitely out the door tonight. Tamu mat is down. Head's not quite covered. would go in here without my bivvy but because it's not quite long enough to cover my head I don't want to get soaking wet pillows so I'm I'm using the bivvy because this hood this hood on this is big enough to cover me easily So 
so there's my home for the night guys I am actually quite looking forward to that it's gonna be a nice night's sleep hopefully hopefully let's get oh a bit of sun and fireworks sun's sort of out on me a little bit <laughs> Time for food. Uh, I have um, got. Uh, I haven't cheated. Well, it is cheating a bit, I suppose. Uh, homemade chili from at home, which I did make myself. Uh, it was too hot for the wife to handle, so she said, you can "Take that camera with you." <laughs> oh, this is all my cooking kit in here, all my food, everything I need. So. In here, in this little bag, I've got a massive gas bottle, a fire maple stove, not all those are lost, wonder mug with a bag of crisps inside, my titanium pot, uh, the uh, 500 milliliter one, uh, <laughs> and lid, and that's filled with coffee and biscuits and things <laughs> two uh, uh, flapjacks and a full cutlery set <laughs> all in that bag <laughs> it's not bad anyway let's cook Right guys, I've had a lovely evening. I've got last bit of wine left. And now I'm gonna climb in there. The time currently is, it looks quite light on the screen. And, oh shit, it's only half eight. <laughs> I'm a bit pissed. And uh, I'm tired. I gotta be up at half five in the morning anyway. So, at least the packing down and he's literally scrunching that thing up. <laughs> well, I should have bought another bottle. That's actually more of an issue than I thought. I thought it was more like nine o'clock, quarter past nine. To be honest, half nine. <laughs> I'm an hour behind. Or an hour ahead. Well, I was an hour ahead. See you in a bit. <laughs> Can't believe I've only got one glass of wine left. It's because I'm guzzling it. Ah, but what are we doing here? You wondering? 
<laughs> the night is not over. I do also have two pieces of my son's railway track, which are broken. Super quick. Important not to overfill your, your bush boxes. So, I know it is the summertime and I'm camping in a survival shelter, so I'll be pretty much okay. Uh, it is going down to, I think, 14 degrees tonight. The summer at the moment hasn't been particularly great. Uh, when you're watching this now, I think it'll be off to bed when I'm uploading these videos. I don't try that. I'm off to bed now. I'm going to climb into that. We got rain uh, forecast in about an hour. So, thank you guys. I'll see you in the morning. It'll be a very brief chat in the morning because I've got to get up at half past five, pack this stuff up and get home. Uh, drop the car for my wife and then walk into work, uh, which is a three mile walk. So, anyway. Summer made it up to 20 past 11. I'm off to bed now. Two in the morning. Good morning, guys. The rain came down for about half the night. I had to go into more of a fetal position to get my head down and dry. Uh, it's five to six and I'm a bit late. But, uh, I have to try and now I have to try and stay dry when I pack all this up. Easier said than done. Right. Uh, This pack, 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 uh, in such a little space. This is not easy. Not easy at all. No room. <laughs> Watching guys, catch
catch us on the next one. Don't know when it'll be. Uh, 